Okay, gonna do a little walk around video for you guys. This 1979 Ford Bronco, custom trim level. This is what I would say is a excellent example of a very clean, very straight, very original, rust-free Bronco. And we'll start up here with the wheels. Got these great 70s mags. Don't mind the dog, sorry about that. Uh, we've got these great 70s mags with uh, BF Goodrich AT All-Terrain 32 by 11 and a half, 15 tires. I'd say we're 90% or more tre uh, tread left on these guys. Uh, they're in excellent condition. Uh, maybe a few thousand miles on these tires. There are a couple of of dings in the Bronco here on the driver fender. We've got um, a little depression in the trim there. Very minor. There's a little bit in the fender. You can kind of see the line there. All in all though, the, the condition of this is just really wonderful. Uh, very straight, just really clean little rig. It has a couple of little spots where there's some rust starting uh, to eat through, uh, but they're pretty minor and superficial. Um, I'm just going to give you guys a little full, full walk around view here. Again, the paint has some imperfections, some blemishes. Uh, it's, it's worn. It is a, a 40 plus year old vehicle. This is what I would call a, a, a great daily driver, uh, take it to work on Friday, date night on the weekend kind of rig. Something you can take camping, you can go to the lake. You're, you're not gonna feel bad if you get a scratch or a ding or you're not gonna be worried about rock chips from some guy in front of you down the road. It's a Bronco you can get out and use. And because it is solid, the sheet metal is in such great shape, uh, and it's a it's a pretty much rot-free truck. You don't you don't have to worry about it falling apart on you. I got another little ding in the trim down here. Again, it's not not perfect, but it is in just wonderful shape. So I'm just like I said. Going to show you around as much as I can on its tailgate has some rust on it. It's mainly the bottom seam, which is what you generally see on these. The uh, mount for the spare tire is very solid. It doesn't flex at all, so that is great. Um, but yeah, the, the tailgate on the bottom, that's where you're seeing the majority of the rust is on the outside here. Nice thing about these tailgates, they did run pretty much the same tailgate for the subsequent generations. So I believe it's up to like 86, 87. It's basically the same tailgate. Um, so they are relatively easily had. Uh, you'd just be looking at some color match on your paint. As far as the rust goes on the tub or body of the Bronco, we've got a three by half inch spot on the very lower section of the driver rear quarter and it looks like I suspect was a lot of rock chips from the wheel hitting away the paint and wearing that out. Nice thing about this is it is all solid around it so your patch area is that maybe maybe two by five inch in that lower area there as far as these Broncos go you're, you're gonna be hard pressed to find one that's not fully restored that doesn't that's in this good a shape so you know the area on the tub where there is some rot is in the door jam on the b pillar here and again i mean i'm pushing on this as hard as i can it's not flexing at all it's just a little bit of swell on that seam so that's a, a minimal repair area Otherwise, it, it is solid. The rocker panels are solid. The door bottoms, 
I'll give you guys a little video of underneath in a little bit here. It'll show you everything. <laughs> the doors on these, I just love the doors. They're, they're butter. It's a very low mileage truck. It's showing 72,000 on the odometer. Everything is in excellent operational condition. The only thing that does not work is the horn. All the electrical, everything else functions exactly as it should. Has a brand new carpet kit in it from stock interiors. They fit wonderfully. Has the mass backing behind it. Helps a lot with sound deadening. And then it has the jute carpet padding, what you'd expect. All of that has the factory flip and tumble rear seat. Uh, complete interior, all original. Center console, the factory flip up. Passenger seat for easy access to the back. There are some scratches on the back of the passenger seat. And a little bit of splitting on the seam in some of the places couple places on the seats but generally they're in really wonderful shape as well glove box and uh, glove box light uh, latch spring everything works like it should still has the the jack instruction sticker on there the cardboard isn't all rotted out and sagging again just a nice nice all there vehicle window regulators nice and smooth all the glass on the truck is original with the exception of the windshield. It has a brand new windshield that was just installed with a new seal. So no leaks there. Nice clean clear glass. Everything functions as it should. Door locks. Nice and smooth. Again, <laughs> those doors just close wonderfully. Again, the, the hood has got the paints come up in a couple of places. It's not flaking aggressively. This kind of is what it is from the age. Uh, when you get an original truck like this with original paint, you're, that's going to happen. Uh, there is a little dent in the bezel on the grill. The, the body damage is... I should say all the damage is mainly related to the trim and not the actual body panels themselves, which is great. Again, this carpet kit from Stock Interiors has a factory style heel, heel kick panel in it. These nice large mats. Everything functions as it should. Dome light. I'll run through all the electrical in a moment here. Take your own back. Any Bronco, you're going to want to be able to turn the key. That has all just been overhauled and rehabbed. There's a new set of striker latches that were put on from Jeff's Bronco Graveyard. Um, and inside the tailgate, new square updated style rollers for the window so the window won't pop out of the track again tailgate's in really great shape just that bottom seam is where it's starting to to rust and you really can't even see it in the back here it's it's the actual seam itself the floor excellent shape uh, at one point somebody put some some bed liner stuff in the back here it's it's come up a bit there is, again, just, there's no rot on the tub. Uh, there's those two spots that I showed you, and that's, that's it. Everything is just in really great shape. Uh, again, all the panels, everything's in the back. It, it has all of the trim. Uh, optioned vent windows, wing vent windows and slider windows in the top. And like the photos show in the ad, it does come with a brand new soft topper. Um, out of Boulder, Colorado. 
A really great piece, lets you run in the summertime. It's got the factory tinted, or I should say the option tinted windows and it has the uh, optional rear screen vent. Yeah, it's just a really nice piece to have. Uh, put it on in the summer, I think I ran it for about two months. So it's basically brand new. Uh, probably the coolest thing about this Bronco is the fact that it doesn't have a 351 or a 400M in it. Uh, it has a 300 inline six, made it up to the manual four speed. And the motor, trans and trans transfer case uh, all came out of its same year, 1979 F-150. It actually had about 15,000 miles less on it than the Bronco did. And it just fits in here beautifully. It's a shame they didn't offer these trucks with this powertrain combo. So it, it really just, uh, that little inline six just feels great in this Bronco. Uh, I actually named this truck Billy because she's just a little Billy goat and she'll just climb up hills and anything you throw at her. A uh, really dry motor, uh, runs like a top. If you know anything about these 300 cubic inch inline sixes from Ford, uh, they are just, just little tanks. Uh, factory power steering, power brake truck, everything's dry, no leaks. Uh, again, bunch of service just done on the rig. Napa premium belts. Uh, it's got a newer battery, battery cables, uh, brand new plugs, wires, cap, rotor. You know, you know, all the all the basic service stuff that you do on the motor. It's all been been done. Uh, windshield wipers. The washer fluid squirter, all of that. Uh, new ignition module as well. Uh, radiator hoses, it does have a very large one ton radiator in it. Uh, keeps it running cool. It has a steel ammo can in here, which I really like. It's, it's handy, I keep uh, some spare fluids, uh, spare fan belts in there. Something worth noting, I do run the Valvoline VR1 uh, high zinc oil in this. Uh, these old flat tappet motors do really, really well with that. It's worth a few extra bucks come oil change. Uh, all the stickers still on. Got the coolant sticker on. The front radiator core support. Catalyst and vacuum hose routing stickers still on the hood. Again, just a really really clean truck it's not fully restored it's not perfect it's not but it's all original it's all there and everything functions as it should factory air truck that's another really nice piece here uh, has the condenser blower box and the lines that come off they're tied up back there if you wanted to get AC working in this rig it'd be a matter of putting a factory compressor and condenser on uh, there are a lot of companies that actually offer those components that are updated and are direct factory fit. So it's a relatively easy task to, to do. Uh, we are in North Idaho, so running the AC has not really been a major concern, especially with that soft topper, but if you wanted to do it, it would be a easy thing to do. I'll open the door up again, hop up here, show you guys the roof. We are running some clearance cab lights. They do work. The roof is in great shape. Again, it's like the hood. Paint's come up, but it's not rotted out. It's actually solid as you could ask for. Drip rails, same thing. Again, when we had the windshield out, replacing it. The seam on the windshield looked fantastic. I did not grab any photos of that, unfortunately. I did grab photos of the floorboards and the floor pan before I put the new carpet in. And it's, it's perfect. Uh, it comes with two sets of keys, locks, everything functions just beautifully, like butter. Here, show you the other side. Again, drip rails are perfect. Factory original, never been touched. Uh, if you've been looking at these Broncos at all, 
you know you're usually looking at something that needs massive sheet metal repair panels replaced that kind of thing or it's been fully restored and it's a completely different price category than this one uh, another thing to note it does have the original bumper on it it does have a little tweak on it looks like somebody may have hooked a recovery strap to the bumper to try and pull somebody out and, and tweaked it a little bit that's something that you were very very concerned about those are easily had replacements so i like that it's the original one but you can get aftermarket repops for those pretty easily they usually run a couple hundred dollars well, i'm going to give you guys a little view of the undercarriage and we're going to do a startup and test drive video as well again i just wanted to show you as much as i can of the rig we got her out here turn signals Everything works. Cancelers. Oh, we do have a nice aftermarket head unit in there that runs Bluetooth, auxiliary input. Nice little unit. Uh, emergency flashers. Again, we're showing 72,000 on the dash. All the gauges function as they should. Fan speed selector. Everything works. Another nice thing about this truck, the window switch for the back window works from the dash. Spent a lot of time getting the wiring all square on that. It all works as it should. All right, I'll give you guys a little, little shot underneath here. I almost forgot, I did want to show you the Fold and tumble seat. So I can do this one handed. There we go. Again, it works as it should. Actually, it works really easily. Uh, all your belts, all three belts, buckles. Okay. Keep in mind, it did just wash the truck. So it does have some wet spots. And it does have a little bit of oil drips but nothing massive nothing major so you just you will see see some some moist areas the, keep in mind as well the undercarriage does have a fair amount of surface rust on it or scaling on the frame that's just how it goes with these when they're unrestored unless they're kept in a barn for 42 years I will say, however, that it is not to the point where you can't get components off. It's got a new drag link on it, uh, new ball joints, those things on the steering components. Uh, it's got a Dana 44 high pinion. Uh, brakes are in great shape. I tried to keep as clean as I could. I live on a dirt road, so there is some crud underneath. Um, like I said, scaling, surface rust on the frame rails, not really much of a way around that, but the body itself is just in, in fantastic shape, and the motor is really pretty dang dry. Try and show you guys as much of the sheet metal as I can. You know that's the point of concern for most. Again, floor pans. The tub on this Bronco is perfect. There's not a single rod area on the floor of this thing. Again, surface rust and the scaling on the frame to be expected. All in all, actually, a, a really clean 
great example of an all original Bronco. Well, you should say mostly original. That powertrain is not original. Uh, the radius arm bushings have some cracks, but they are all in one piece. Um, anything else of note needing repair? I cannot think of at this point in time. Everything functions as it should. Transfer case actually is really smooth. The transmission shifts just beautifully. I love those T18 four speeds, they're great. Uh, Ford 9 inch rear end. Uh, we do have. A new fuel tank in, I shouldn't say new, but a replaced fuel tank. It was done a few years back. Um, I believe it's a 30 gallon unit. It holds quite a bit of fuel. I usually put about 28, 29 gallons in if it's, if it's all the way down low. So I'm assuming it's about a 30 gallon unit, which is fantastic for the Bronco. I'm going to swing around the back here and show you a little bit more. Show you guys the wheel wells. Again, this tub is just in fantastic condition. I will say in my personal experience, even with the surface rust on the frame, this is the most solid rot free tub I've ever or I should say Bronco I've seen next to one that's been fully restored and has had the floor panels patched and all of that uh, we do have a factory receiver I'm trying to keep the focus in as best I can please bear with me and again, if you'd like to see any other photos, video of any specific area, if you're not sure about something, you want a little more clear view, please don't hesitate. Just send me an email. I'll be more than happy to get some for you. Seams for the rockers. Again, there's no rot underneath here. Okay, truck isn't 100% cold, but it's been off for a while, been hanging out. Um, do a little start up and run video for you. Normally do one pump on the carb. Fires are pretty good. When it's really cold out, winter time, usually I'm looking at giving it a little bit of gas. Uh, again, I was showing you guys all the light functions, uh, wipers, all that. Their windshields dry, they'll drag pretty hard. Um, yes, yeah, right. Fan speed, all the selector, the vacuum selector all works. All the different functions. So that is nice. That T18 four speed, so you get that granny low first gear. I just love the way this Bronco drives. Power steering is really good. Uh, doesn't leak. It's not whiny. There's no hard or flat spots in the power steering. Clutch is great. Grabs right in the middle as it should.
see why I have such a hard time trying to keep the undercarriage clean. Coming back from the car wash, it's uh, <laughs> a little difficult to do so, but uh, it speedo's nice and smooth. Uh, it doesn't jump, bind at all. Again, all the gauges work. Everything functions. I believe there's one of the clearance lights on the roof of the cab that does not work. I haven't troubleshot it at all. I'm assuming it just needs a bulb. All the running lights and everything else works. Uh, after we get done with the drive here and I park, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys all of those operating uh, from the exterior. And she drives down the road nice and smooth, nice and straight. Steering's not all washed out. It's actually pretty tight. Uh, replacing that drag link tightened it up a ton. And it's actually really great. Uh, again, turn signals, auto canceller, works both directions. I run about 50 to 75 percent Lucas heavy duty oil stabilizer in all the gearboxes. Uh, so the transfer case, transmission, differentials, they all get it. Uh, it really helps them shift nice and smooth. Uh, I also run about 25% Lucas heavy duty oil stabilizer in the crankcase. Along with that Valvoline high zinc uh, BR1 oil, which again, these flat tappet motors just love it. Uh, cab is really quiet. Uh, all the glass is original car light glass again with the exception of the windshield and uh, that has a new seal uh, the rest of the seals are original and I'm very impressed with how well they keep the wind noise out um, the, the locks work which is pretty great so nice quiet quiet cab about as quiet as you could expect in a an old Bronco. She stops nice and straight. Again, this truck just really drives beautifully. Um, I, I really love this Bronco. It just drives out so nice. Engine just purrs, transmission smooth. Like I said, transfer case, that shifts very nicely as well. Doesn't stick and bind. Just really impressed overall with how this thing drives. She'll have no problem jumping on the highway and doing 75. I like to keep it closer to 60, 65, just to keep the R's down, but she really doesn't tack out that bad. And to be honest, these little inline sixes don't mind a little, a little extra revving. With the bigger tires, the Speedo does run a little slow. So at about 57, 58, you're actually cruising at about 60. Just a nice smooth ride. I've been driving this Bronco around for a while now and I really enjoy driving it. I really have a, really have a good time every time I get behind the wheel. Brakes nice and straight. Everything operates the way it should. Uh, the only, again, <laughs> the only thing with the exception, the horn. There, there is no horn. Not uncommon. So I'll tell you guys again, if there's anything you, you want to see, any, any specific area you'd like to get some more photos, some more high definition video, just shoot me an email. I'll be more than happy to get some more and send it off to you just a little light test for you 
misspoke, there's two clearance lights. All the running lights, two clearance lights need bulbs. Hazards are going. Like I said, this is a great little truck. Everything works. There we go.